Tyler, 23 points uh, today on a really strong shooting day. Seemed like you were into it right from the start. You know, how'd you feel about uh, the opportunities you got and the way you played today? Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, we still uh, still fell short. Um, you know, personal success doesn't really mean anything if you're, uh, you know, down 3-0 in a series. So, you know, from from my perspective, more uh, uh, looking to looking to get back with the guys and, and look at some film tomorrow and see what we can do to steal one to, uh, on uh, Sunday. Greg? Uh, Tyler, uh, obviously, Jared credited with uh, zero field goal attempts, even though he got fouled a couple times trying to shoot. What did Toronto do that made it so difficult to sustain any offense at the rim? I mean, they packed the paint. They uh, they force you to kick it out to uh, to guys. They usually are, are bringing three, four guys into the paint. Um, we got into a timeout uh, in the third quarter, and I, I looked at Jay, and I just told him how unselfish he was being throughout the entire game because, uh, you know, a guy of his caliber could easily uh, be frustrated and angry and, um, you know, be more demonstrative about not getting uh, some field goal attempts. But... Um, the guy continued to screen, continued to get guys open, continued to get offensive board and boards. And, you know, when, where you can find yourself just going up and taking shots off of those, he continued to kick it out and continue to just make the right basketball play. So um, as far as respect goes, um, you know, I already had a lot for him. But after after today, I, I see uh, just truly how unselfish he is and how much he just wants to make the right basketball play. So I have a lot of respect for that guy. Christian. Hey, hey, Tyler, you know, aside from making more threes, right, you guys shot 16 to 51. Uh, were there any other areas, I guess, you, you think that you guys could have changed that maybe might have shortened the gap? Or is it just a sense that, you know, that's a really good team on the other side of the floor and they're the defending champs and they, they did what they did? Made shots, too. You know, they... Uh... They continue to put pressure on you. We tried to mix some things up, going zone a little bit, but um, they just continued to make shots. I think, uh, you know, for us, it was a goal to get up a bunch of threes. Um, you know, I think we got a lot of clean looks and from guys who have proven they can knock down shots. And, uh, you know, sometimes they just they don't fall at the rate that you would like them to, to, um, you know, maybe keep the defense a little bit more honest. But, um, you know, I, I don't think it had anything to do with effort today. Today we played hard and uh, some shots didn't fall. And then, again, I think uh, same narrative as it's been in the two games before this one. It's, sometimes it just comes down to details, you know, when you're, you're down nine and we make a boneheaded mistake and the guy gets wide open and, and hits a three, it kind of kills that momentum. Whereas, you know, you're, you're down nine with the ball you know, and continuing to put pressure on them, um, you know, seeing how people respond as the game gets closer. So, um, you know, for us, it's can we have one of those games on uh, Sunday, just limit as many mistakes as possible and, uh, you know, make shots with guys who have been proven that they can make shots. Obviously, we know how shorthanded we are. But at the end of the day, um, if you go into games with that excuse, then you might as well not show up and play.